So finally, let us take a look at a practical application of what you have learned so far. Do read this question, hit the pause button, fully understand it before you carry on. If you like, you can try to solve the question and compare with the solution I'm going to give. So the first part of this question requests that you formulate this equation given that x is the speed James takes to travel from P to Q. So for this kind of problem sums, it is always a good idea to write down what you know. So let's begin. x is the speed James drove from P to Q and x plus 7 is for the return journey so if you remember speed is defined as distance over time so we know that the return journey the time taken was 15 minutes less so 15 minutes translates to a quarter of an hour so now let's formulate our equation the time taken for James to travel from P to Q is given as time taken is given as the distance over the speed and for from P to Q the distance is 600 kilometers the speed is X now this takes a longer time then the return journey and the return journey the distance is the same distance but the speed is increased by 7 kilometers per hour so x plus 7 so this is the time taken for traveling to from p to q and this is the return journey so The question tells you that it is 15 minutes faster. So the longer time minus the shorter time is 15 minutes. But you have to write one quarter because everything here is in terms of hours. So you have already formulated your equation. The next step is to write it in a single line without the fractions. So using what we have learned, we want to multiply x on both sides and we also want to multiply x plus 7 on both sides. So to make it faster, let's simply just multiply x times x plus 7. So on the left hand side, when we multiply by x times x plus 7, you will be left with 600 multiply by x plus 7 the x cancels with the x and here you will be left with 600 x on the right hand side you will be left with x x plus 7 over 4 we carry on what we are doing multiply both sides with 4 you will have 2400 plus 7 minus 2400x equals to x square plus 7x because I'm just going to multiply 
the x inside. So now let's open up this bracket 2400x and 2400 times 7. So 2400x there is another 2400x here but there's a negative sign so it combines and it gives you 0. So you are only left with 2400 multiplied by 7 16,800 so that is everything on the left hand side on the right hand side nothing is changed so if you bring everything to one side you will have x square plus 7x minus 16,800 which is what you have been asked to prove this so you have done what is requested now let's take a look at part b Part B asks you to solve the equation that you have derived. So that is not too hard. All you need to do is to remember the formula. So x is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4. a is 1. So we don't have to write it because 1 times 4 is 4 and C, which is 16,800. Now always remember that the minus sign sticks with the number. So divided by 2A. So this reduces to the square root of 67249. So now you need to press your calculator and you will have two answers. One of the answer is 126.16 km per hour. Now the question asks you to give your answer to two decimal place. The other one is a negative value which it's impossible in a physical world. You can't have a negative speed in this case. So it is an inadmissible number. So we don't have to show that. So finally, you are ready to solve the last part, which is to find the time taken for the return journey. The first part of the journey, James took 126 kilometers per hour. The second part, the speed, his speed increases by 7 km per hour. So 162.16 plus 7 will give you 133.16 km per hour. So there you have it.